Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to explore how to export talking animations from Character Creator 1.52 into Maya using the Motion Plus format with iClone 6.5. Alright, so this was not previously available, but now we're able to export directly from Character Creator 1.52 Motion Plus files, uh, including the mesh and everything like that, to any other sort of external software. Alright, so we're going to start with this uh, secret agent type female character right here in this uh, leather cat suit. You can find this in the content store under the professional outfits pack. You can just uh, search that up and find it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to export this character, first of all, into iClone, just kind of show you the animation in iClone first, and then we're going to export the FBX uh, from Character Creator into my LT. So first of all, with our character selected, we want to export to iClone first. So send character to iClone here on the top left. And once your character is loaded up in iClone, you can just go uh, to your motions over here. Uh, let's go to, so let's go down to Motion Plus, since we're going to be using a Motion Plus file under G6. Female, I'm not going to create my own Motion Plus file. Nobody got time for that. All right, so let's go ahead and load in this Heidi Talk 2 that comes included with iClone 6. All right, so you can see she gets seated and wants to give us Welcome. a lecture. Please make yourself at home. I've been expecting you. She's been expecting us. And I'm really excited to find You can see the nice uh, blend shapes. Um, <laughs> You know, for the facial expressions yeah. and lip sync on the on the so, mouth right there. What would you like to do today? Basically, that's what we're going to be, uh, you know, importing into Maya LT. All right, so we don't need to listen to their her whole uh, her whole monologue. Now we're going to export the Motion Plus file, like I mentioned. So I want to right click on that Motion Plus file from the library and just select Find File, and make sure we have the directory path right here. So we can just you know select all that, Control C, and copy it, just in case we don't it doesn't come up in Character Creator when we export. So let's go back into Character Creator now, and we're going to go to File and Export to FBX. Now keep in mind you still need to have the pipeline version of 3D Exchange, the license, in order to do this. Since anytime you export a character to FBX, an iClone character to FBX, you'll need the pipeline version of uh, 3D Exchange, that license. All right, so export to FBX anyways, clothed character. Now here we don't need to worry about any of these options at the top, really. We do want to include a motion. We want to include a custom motion here. Now, you don't need to select Universal T-Pose Editing uh, unless you're designing assets for a character creator. Um, if you want to design an asset for this character, like adding a new body morph or doing cloth modification, and you want to bring your character back from Maya into iClone, then I'd recommend checking this Universal T-Pose Editing box to keep a T-Pose for uh, character alignment so that character creator characters can load back into your uh, new, newly modified character. All right, so let's keep this deselected for now because we're just kind of exporting the animation, uh, the Motion Plus to Maya LT, so we don't really need this. Uh, let's keep our frame format at 30 frames a second. And you can see I've already loaded up that file previously. We can just go into our Explorer and, you know, paste our path up here, and it's the same path that I had before. Just select Heidi Talk 2, that's the Motion Plus we're exporting, and go to Export. Now it'll say here there's no T-Pose information, that's fine. Hidden Mesh was removed, OK, and just press OK. We don't need to worry about that. We'll just call our secret agent. Whoops, secret agent. Okay, and save that to our desktop. And once that's saved out, then we're gonna simply just click and drag it into Maya LT. So let's go to our desktop here. You can see we have secret agent.fbx. Let's click and drag her into Maya LT. There it is. And once this loads into Maya LT, I'm gonna show you the result of all the blend shapes that we imported in from Character Creator. So it's pretty cool that you can do this directly from Character Creator. And let's just uh, zoom out so we can kind of see our character here and uh, pan up to where her uh, face is. Since we're paying attention to the uh, blend shapes now, I need to uh, expand the number of frames that we have available. It's got about 1500 there. And uh, expand our little timeline scrub here. And if we Go to like, you know, frame like this, for example, uh, any frame really. Uh, let's just go a little bit further down, actually. Maybe a frame like this. Let's zoom in on the face a little bit more so we can see some of these blend shapes in action here. So you can see her talking, laughing right there. And uh, maybe a little bit further on, if we just click and drag right here, you can see the eyelids, eyebrows going up and down like this, and the nice bottom shapes creating those. Uh, transitions between the uh, phonemes there. Okay, so now, you know, if you want to see these phonemes in action, if you want to kind of modify them on the fly in your own animation, you can just go up to uh, Windows and uh, Animation Editors and Shape Editor. 
And here you'll see a list of all the uh, all the phonemes that are included with this character. So basically, this is this top one here is the main slider. So if you take that down, she'll go into a neutral expression right here. Um, however, keep in mind that the lower ones are mainly for lip sync, while the top ones here are mainly for uh, or muscle movement. Okay, so the, top, the ones near the top, if we take this one down, for example, you can see that's you know the mouth muscle movement. This one down here is the uh, you know eyebrows. Uh, we're not going to mess around with the eyebrows too much. Maybe something like this is kind of cool. This 27 one makes her look kind of angry. So you can see that's more like expression. And we can flare the nose as well. I believe uh, 30 is to flare the nose on both sides. So we can give her a, you know, a fairly angry expression uh, right there. Um, you know, go to like uh, 37, 38. Give her a look of kind of like disgust or something like that. And uh, down here, these ones here are for the tongue. All right, so you don't need to worry too much about these. Uh, you can see the tongue slightly moving in the in the background there. That one's kind of an L uh, phonem. Now, like I mentioned, most of the phonemes down here are down at the bottom here. So if we you know pump these up, you can see that one's for the eye. So the eyes are kind of in there as well. So now she looks you know fairly disgusted. But generally, the uh, the phonem blend shapes are closer to the bottom. And the ones for muscle movement are uh, closer to the top. So, you know, here she could have a very, you know, disgusted or surprised look um, right there. And, you know, jaw is just lowering in shock. She just saw something shocking or something like that. But anyways, there's basically, you know, an infinite number of possibilities for all these blend shapes and the combinations that you can use. Maybe that one she looks a bit more excited. But I kind of like this uh, shocked, excited looking expression right here. All right, so you can have fun with that on your own time. But just kind of wanted to show you how easy it is to import in uh, your character's mesh with a bunch of uh, blend shapes and a talking animation directly from Character Creator. So thanks so much for watching everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned a lot in this tutorial. And make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com and I'll see you in the next video.